Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 199 in the series of basic math. Today we'll have our 14th lesson in the series of 15 on the work on the topic of work time problems. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that 36 workers can do a job in 49 days. 36 workers can do the job in 49 days. The problem is we do not have 49 days. The job needs to be finished. The job needs to be done in 21 days. We have gotten the contract. The contract stipulates that we finish the job in three weeks time. We don't have a luxury of taking as long as 49 days. The question is, how many workers do I need to put on the job? I'll give you five seconds now for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Okay? Here we go. Alright. Here are the answer choices there. Well, first thing first. Let's, let's first look at the problem in a logical, systematic manner. Instead of, instead of jumping in it and instead of solving it classically in an academic way, let's look at it in a more logical way. We are told the 36 workers take 49 days. If you want to finish the job in 21 days, even if you even if you were to change that, listen carefully, even if you were to change that to 42 days, even if you were to take change that to 42 days, even in that case, if you give me half the amount of time, 42 divided by 2 is 21, if you give me half the amount of time, I will need twice the workers. I will need twice the workers. Twice of 76 is 36 is more than 70, 70, more than 70, which means all the answer choices that are less than 70, they are all wrong. They are all wrong. It has to be more than 70, and it's not going to be 72. It's not just going to be 36 times 2. 36 times 2 would have, been, would have been the correct answer. 72 would have been the correct answer had this been 42. But it doesn't take 42 days. It actually takes 49 days. It takes 49 days. If, if the regular job takes 49 days and you give me less than half the amount of time, if you give me less than half the amount of time, I will need more than twice the workers. More than twice the worker is 284 right there. Now let's do it in the classical way, shall we? Let's do it in the classical way. We are told that 30, 36 workers, we are told that 36 workers take, 36 worker take, not takes, 36 workers take 49 days. Well, if 36 workers take 39 days, then one worker, if he was to work by himself, will take 36 times 49 days. 36 times 49 days. We don't have one workers, we have actually... Oh, it's not the workers we are interested in, it is the days we are interested in. It is the days we are interested in. All right, let's start again. 49 days, 49 days are needed for 36 workers. If you want to finish the job in one day, if you want to finish the job in one day, you're going to need 36 times 49 worker. That's how many workers you're going to need if you want to finish the job in one day. It usually takes 49 days. Instead of 49 days, you want to finish the entire job done in one day, you need 49 times as many workers. Well, we don't have to finish in one day, we have 21 days. 21 days, 21 days should, should require 36 times 49 over 21. That's it. Divide top and bottom by 7, 7, 49 becomes 7, this becomes 3, and it becomes 12 times 7. The answer is 84. The answer is 84. That's all. So that was more of an academic way. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. Now, I did not bother to figure out what 12 times 7. It has to be 84. That's the only one left here. I, I, I hope and pray to God it is because 12 times 5 is 60. 12 times 5 is 60 and another, another 24 will make you 84, you see? 20 workers. 20 workers, we are told, take 4 hours 
to do to do a job. How long? How long will sixteen take? Okay. Usually, it takes it takes twenty workers four hours to do the job. If you only put sixteen workers, how long will it take? Here are the answer choices. The answer choices are three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, and seven. A, B, C, D, and E. Again, I'll be quiet for five seconds. Pause the video. Do it yourself first. All right. Again, it tells us that twenty of them take four hours. Well, if twenty of them take four hours, and if you put in only sixteen workers, if you put in only sixteen workers, if you put in fewer workers, logic dictates that it will take you longer time. If twenty of them take four hours, sixteen, whatever the answer is, has to be more than four hours. It cannot be four hours or three hours. That's just not illogical. Four hours, four hours is how long it takes for twenty workers. It cannot possibly take three hours or four hours. Three hours is, is, is just silly. It will take them more than four hours, let alone three hours. It will take them more than four hours. Answer has to be five, six, or seven. Let's do it out. Answer has to be either five, six, or seven. Let's do it out. We are told that twenty take twenty take four hours. Well, if twenty takes four hours, then one will take four times twenty times as many hours. If you put in only one worker, he will take twenty times the amount of time because twenty of twenty of them take four hours. One worker will take twenty times four. But we don't have one worker; we have sixteen workers. So sixteen should take sixteen should take four times twenty over sixteen hours. One six. Sixteenth the amount of time. There you go. That's what you're done. Divide top and bottom by four. Sixteen becomes four. Divide top and bottom by four again. It becomes five. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Thirty-six workers. Oh, sorry. Six robots. We are told. Six robots. I don't know why I have to put robots in capital. Huh? Six robots can do a job in five hours. We are told six robots can do a job uh, in five hours. Job needs to be done. Needs to be done in just two hours. Question is. How many robots do we need to put on the job if we need to finish the job in two hours, which typically takes five hours for six of them? Here are the answer choices: eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, and thirty. Do it yourself first, and we'll, then we'll do it together. Okay? Uh, here we go. We are told that six of them, six take five hours. If six takes five hours, one should take six times the amount of time. One should take six times five. We don't have one row. Oh, that's we're not doing. We're not. We, we are interested in not the number of robots we need, but uh, we are interested in the number of hours. Five hours are needed. Let's start again. Five hours. Five hours are needed for six robots. Five hours are needed for six robots. That means if you want to do the job in one hour, one hour would be five times as many robots. If if five hours are needed by six robots, and you want to get the job done in one hour. You will need six times as many robots. That's it. We are done. We don't have to do it in one hour. It's not that much of a rush. We have two hours. So if you have two hours, if you have twice as much time, if you have twice as much time, you're going to need half as many. You're going to need half as many robots. Two goes into three. Three times five, which is fifteen. You're going to need fifteen robots. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. 
Final. <laughs>